What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install and use fabric. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. For quite the long time, Forge was really the most popular mod loader in Minecraft, and there wasn't really much competition. So much so that they even got their own app. And not only that, but they covered multiple different games beyond just Minecraft. But once the 1.13 release came out, Forge kind of took a slower pace to catch up with the rest of the gang. So what took its place? Introducing Fabric. Before we begin on this though, you gotta know that you can find any links related to this video in the description below whether that be the fabric download or any other types of mods related. Well, let's get into it. First, you're going to need to change your server panel from whatever game mode you're playing to the fabric version. So go ahead and stop your server. And once you've done that, you're going to scroll down to where you see jar file. In this field, you're going to click the drop down bar and you're going to type in the word fabric. Whether you want to use the latest version or 1.16.5, which is my favorite version, it's up to you. But once you've selected the version you want, then you're going to see this pop up. You're going to select change version. And when changing versions, we often do recommend creating a new world so there are no mishaps between the old versions. And then you'll select restart now. Once it's reset, we'll be good to move on. First and foremost, you're definitely going to want to download the installer, so head to fabricmc.net slash use. Once you're here, you'll see two big gray buttons right in the center, and you're going to download the universal jar. Once you've selected the jar and you run it, you'll be greeted with this, and you'll be able to select your version that you want to download and install. From here, you'll be able to see the install in the Minecraft launcher directly. So once you're ready, hit create. The most important mod to install is Fabric API, as this is what allows you to use Fabric properly. So search up Fabric API, pull up the CurseForge link, and you'll be greeted with this page. From here you can see the description, as well as many other comments, but what you want to select is Files. Once you're on this new page, you'll scroll down to see the main file, which you can download directly, or you can select Recent Files, and on the right side of that, click View All. From here, this is where you can see different game versions specifically. So if you want to select all versions on the right hand side, you can choose the version that you've downloaded. I'll choose 1.16.4 because that's the version that I have. So from here, you're going to go to the right hand side of the latest version and click the download file. From here, it's really up to you whatever mods you want to install. For example, if you want to head to CurseForge page again, you can select the game version of your choice, in this case we're doing Fabric, and any one that shows up likely has a Fabric version. For example, with this Clumps Fabric version, you can see right up at the top, there's the latest version. To install those mods once you've selected them onto your server, you're first going to need to head to FTP File Access and log in. From here, you'll see the Mods folder once you've logged in, and you're going to select that. On the left hand side, you'll click Upload. In this new page where you see Add Files, you'll pull up the selected mods that you wanted to get, and select them all and drag them into the Add Files section. This may take a moment to get everything up and running, but once you do, you can head back to the main page of your panel, and from there, you can start or restart your server to get those mods loaded up into your server. To install it on your client, what you're going to need to do is head to your Minecraft launcher and in the installations tab at the top, you're going to locate the version of Fabric and select the folder next to the play button. In the new folder that loads, you should see a mods folder. Once you've entered this folder, you're going to pull up the downloads once more and click and drag all of the files that you want into that new mods folder. This common issue is kind of just a general server broken or game won't load issue. 
What this usually means is you're not running the right game version or the mods you've selected do not match with the launcher that you've chosen. Make sure that your mods match the game type and you'll be good to go. Well gamers, hopefully this tutorial helped you out. If you're interested, you can check out a lot of different mods using the fabric loader, including the replay mod, which is what we like to use to get these cool shots. Well gamers, that'll just about do it. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.